Adam West is the Batman, the definitive Batman. You know, he is a permanent icon here in American <laughs> culture. He was my first childhood love. He is a legend. He was an unknown in the 50s, 60s, he was number one. Cover of Life magazine, TV Guide. I really enjoyed being Batman because people responded. They were embracing of it. It's not only about making a living, supporting one's family, but can I be brilliant in what I do? Adam became a huge star on television at a time where the stereotyping curse was in full force. The exhibitors voted me the next big movie star. I didn't become that. And by 1970, Adam's career stopped. To make money, he had to do whatever he could. Things that I wasn't very comfortable doing. He jumped a car through a truck at some celebrity daredevil show. When you've been famous, you kind of do what you have to do to stay on that path. There's definitely a me very messy life there. I mean, I was not the kind of guy that I respected very much. You know, Hollywood is a real tough place to make it. It's a tougher place to hold on to it. You peaked in 1960, what was that, over eight? But Kevin, I don't like your choice of words. <laughs> Why? I mean, for him. Peak? I think it's insulting, frankly. I think you still haven't peaked. Those times when you feel like a failure in your work, you've got to do something well, and that is simply being an honest man, husband, and father. Adam's story isn't just that of a TV icon. It's that of a Hollywood survivor. His career spanned 50 years from doing westerns and commercials to being a superhero. Adam has gotten back to the top. Will you answer one question for me? Yes. Thank you so much. He's had a long, flourishing career. And he's the mayor, for crying out loud. Life is never boring with Adam, ever. Come on, James. <laughs> I remember nothing. <laughs>